Did you know that EdgeCamp releases a new update every year? Well, I'm here to talk with Zoltan about previous updates and the new toolpaths they brought out, plus the new update that is coming very soon. Talk about age cam from Hexagon. And before we get on to the new releases and the new features you guys coming up very shortly, can you talk us through the last three years and the toolpath strategies you guys have brought and their benefits? Yes, of course. Uh, it is very exciting to be an edge cam customer nowadays because we did invest a lot in 5X strategies in the last few years. So a couple of years ago, we started with 5X deburring. So especially if you're looking for these type of machines, you want to run it uh, during the weekend and uh, to have a go good quality um, deburred edges you know just try to get rid of the sharp edges uh, you can program it to 5x simultaneously now in edge cam really quickly select the whole geometries and it will generate the toolpath for you so that's why we started our extending our 5x journey and uh, last year we released two new 5x simultaneous cycle one for specifically for roughing and finishing and um we invested in four axis strategies as well. And what's coming in the new release? Because the new release is, is, is going to be released any time. So what can this new up then? Yeah, the new release is actually coming out in a month. And uh, what we were working on this year is also enhancing our free access cycles and releasing a brand new uh, free access strategy called race line finishing cycle. It's specifically designed for cast and die uh, ceiling faces. So the customer just have to select the solid and the edge cam will find out the quickest way through the ceiling phase, almost like a chicane in, uh, in Formula 1, to make sure the customer have the quickest, smoothest tool pass to tackle those problems. Now, we've talked about some of the new releases that are coming out, but what are, the, what are some of the features in edge cam that customers you see aren't using that they really should be? There are a few things I would say in uh, even after 10 years of releasing the waveform cycle, I think the customer could use only waveform nowadays, especially with the new chip thickness and uh, uh, material removal rate improvements. Um, however, what we did as well is a thing called Tombstone Manager. So we were working on uh, improving our multi-part machining. When you program one, you're happy with on a three axis machine and you want to scale up for a four axis or a five axis machine, so you just have to drag that part into EdgeCam, uh, distribute it on the tombstone, and it will do the two-pass linking for you. And some of the questions I get asked a lot, and it's there's, there's a lot of CAD-CAM systems out there, but how quick and easy is it to build your tool, build your tool library, and also run a machine like this Matsura behind us? Because obviously we're not just running a program anymore. You've got the pallet loader as well to run. So how easy are these steps? So if you have a tool sector and you start to build your own tool store, um, you can download the 3D models from your tooling provider. You can quickly insert it into the tool store and then you can use live data. And the benefit with that is if you have the tool store um, set and set up properly in EdgeCam, you can just generate an NC code and it can feed the CNC machine with the right tool length, um, have it the right coordinate systems, so you don't actually have to touch the setup. And talk us through programming a machine like, like this Matsura behind us, because, again, there'll be a lot of people out there who are using EdgeCam just to program their parts, but now you have the pallet loader to deal with as well. So how easy is that to, to keep running? If you keep your fixture manager up to date, so it's, it is really in EdgeCam where we're talking about technology assistant and uh, fixture manager, where you feed the right 3D data, uh, then you just, a couple of clicks, you select your tombstone, you select your fixture, you have a full collision check and also toolpath trimming against the fixture, especially if you're talking about custom fixtures. Um, um, it is a couple of clicks only. And I just want to finish this, this interview off with, we're here today at Factory 33 um, and we've heard from Martin who has nothing but amazing things to say about EdgeCam. 
But what can you tell me about your relationship with Martin and some of the testing you guys have been doing with EdgeCab? Uh, we are lucky to have Martin on our doorstep because uh, we, ha we have a really good relationship since this started with the, with the simple free access machines. And while he was growing, we were always testing with him. So that was, he was interested in Tombstone, he was interested in 5-axis programming. And uh, uh, due to our good relationship, we, and he was also in the mindset of let's, let's always one step ahead of the others, um, uh, he was happy for us to test few, for example, the Tombstone manager. Well, Zoltan, I'd just like to say a big thank you from me and everyone at MTD for your time today. But if there's someone out there who has, has maybe watched this video and would like more information, how can they get in contact with you guys at Hexagon? Go to edgecam.com and uh, talk to your local Hexagon distributor.